Good evening, Richmond County, and welcome to your Friday edition of Live at Five. I'm Elise Melvin. The city government is continuing to work on cleaning up abandoned houses in one neighborhood. The Rockingham City Council on Tuesday approved a demolition ordinance for a house at 211 South Brookwood Avenue. According to Assistant City Manager John Massey, the small house, which is split into two units, has been abandoned for some time now. Massey said the city began proceedings regarding the property in February, but has had no communication with the owner and no action has been taken to make improvements. Photos included in the agenda packet appear to show cushions and trash throughout the house, as well as a spot where the ceiling is falling in. According to Massey, this makes the third house on Brookwood for which the council has approved a demolition ordinance since December. A man accused of selling cocaine is facing more than half dozen criminal charges. The Rockingham Police Department served a search warrant Tuesday at the Gelstown Road home of 58-year-old Stacy Milton Ingram, according to a Facebook post which doesn't give any details of the search or what led to it. Richmond County jail records show Ingram is charged with drug-related charges. He is being held on a $100,000 secured bond and is scheduled to appear in court July 7th. Nearly four complete innings were played in Thursday's season opener before lightning and the threat of severe weather ended it early. The Richmond Junior Varsity Renegade baseball team made its long-awaited Central Carolina Scholastic Summer League debut against Pinecrest. Trailing 1-0 with one out in the bottom of the fourth, the JV Renegades recorded a loss to start the summer. Head coach Ryan Mercer said both coaches agreed to finalize the game instead of postponing it and finishing it at a later date. With one out in the bottom of the fourth, the field was cleared after lightning flashed behind the outfield. A 20-minute delay led to both coaches calling the game. Richmond didn't register a hit in the loss, but Mercer said he was proud of the team's defensive efforts and knows the offense will produce in time. Richmond will look to enter the win column with a road game at Union Pines on Tuesday. First pitch is set for 5 p.m. Heavy rain washed out Hamlet Post's 49's return to the Diamond on Thursday. Scheduled to host Wilmington Post 10 Patriots at Memorial Park, a strong storm system moved into the area about an hour before first pitch. The 49ers haven't played a full game in nearly 10 days, last completing a full seven innings in a loss to Hope Mills Post 32 on June 7th. Hamlet will now play a doubleheader on the road against the Post 10 Patriots as both games are Area 2 conference games. Game 1 is scheduled for a 3 p.m. start at Legion Stadium and Game 2 is tentatively set for 5 p.m. Hamlet is 3-3 this summer and will look to add to its win column with three games in two days. Post 49 will host Port City Post 545 on Saturday at Memorial Park. When we return, we've got your live at Five Weather Report. It's coming up after the break, so stay tuned. Hometown heroes? Well, maybe. When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. JC's in Rockingham has you covered for used appliances, parts, trailers, and storage. We have one of the largest selections of reconditioned washers, dryers, and refrigerators in the Sand Hills, and we offer free delivery to residents inside Richmond County. Come check out our variety of trailers for any hauling job and our storage buildings for the things you need out of the weather or house. We also carry parts and accessories for appliances, trailers, truck beds, and can order the things you need. That's JC's on South Hancock Street in Rockingham.
At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. And welcome to your Live at Five weather report, Richmond County. Hope your Friday is going well. Looks like we've got some more storms moving in later tonight, later this evening, just as we did last night. Hope you all are doing well. Hope most of you have power, if not all of you. And to hope that you are staying dry as we experience these storms. Taking a look at tonight's forecast, looking a little later into the evening at 6 o'clock p.m., we have a chance, a 40% chance of thunderstorms again this evening with a 92 temperature. And then looking at 10 o'clock p.m. tonight, looks like we're going to have a little bit more of clearer skies. Still some cloudiness with a temperature of 82 degrees. Sunset tonight is set for 8.35 p.m. and we will be experiencing yet another waning gibbous moon. Looking at tomorrow's forecast throughout the Sand Hills region in our county here in Richmond County and the surrounding counties, looks like we have sunny skies across the board, a little bit lower temperatures, which is nice considering we've had some scorching hot weather the last few days. Taking a look at Anson County, a high of 90 and a low of 57. Here in Richmond County, we will have a high of 90 and a low of 60. Looking at Marlboro County, a high of 91 and a low of 59. Moore County, high of 88, low of 58. Scotland County, high of 92, low of 61. Hope County, high of 91, low of 60. Taking a look at Cumberland County, high of 91, low of 62. And last but not least, Robeson County with a high of 93 and a low of 62. So some nice cooler temperatures, especially in those evenings to make up for some of that hot weather that we've had the last few days. Looking a little further into the week here in Richmond County, taking a look at our seven day forecast. Tomorrow, Saturday, we're gonna have sunny skies with a high of 90 and a low of 67. Sunday, sunny skies again, high of 84 and a low of 60, so a little bit cooler temperatures there. Monday, partly cloudy skies, high of 88 and a low of 59, so again, some nice cooler temperatures. Then on Tuesday, we're back up again to a high of 97 and a low of 64 with partly cloudy skies. Wednesday, sunny skies, but a high of 101 with a low of 70, so back up into those warmer temperatures. On Thursday, again, sunny skies, high temperatures at 100 degrees and a low of 73. And then on Friday, looks like we've got some thunderstorms moving in again, 50% chance with a high of 96 and a low of 73. And that's going to do it for tonight's edition of Live at Five. For the latest news, sports, and events happening in Richmond County, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or download the free RO app for your mobile devices. For the Live at Five crew, I'm Elise Melvin. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on Monday. Good night and have a great weekend, Richmond County.